Hi guys, I'm Barbara and I'm here today to show you my daily morning routine. So I'm going to show you my skincare, how I prepare my hair and uh, how I do my day-to-day -day makeup. It's all very easy and simple because that's the way I like it. To start with, I gotta remove these little pimple patches, which are really cute. Okay, let me just remove them. I'm gonna wash my face because I'm still a little sleepy. Okay, one second. All right, while my face is wet, I like to do, I have this oily cleanser. I put about that much. It's a very light texture. I like to apply it with going in circles with my fingies, fingers, sorry. <laughs> I've been home for so long and Dylan and I created this baby talk and it's horrible. So yeah, my fingers and just cleaning my skin under the eyes, my forehead. All right, I'm gonna wash it up because now I feel like I'm rubbing my skin. Ooh, mm, look at me. Now, before I get into more skincare, I like to pre like prep my hair. I washed my hair last night, so as you can see, <laughs> I haven't even brushed it, but it looks great, am I right? I like to use this dry texture foam. Ooh, it's a nice foamy texture. I like to rub it into the roots mainly to give a nice volume to my hair. Cause actually my hair, I have a lot of hair. So if I don't apply this product, then I get a, like, it gets very flat because it's also, my hair is also a little to the greasier side. All right, that's about it to my hair, by the way. I think I'm gonna do a little braid to make sure that it comes out nice and not curly, but wavy. I like to take every piece and even like rotate the, the pieces. Yeah. And then I'll loosen it a little on the top because if I don't do that, then like I said, I'm gonna have flat hair, which we don't like. Now I'm gonna do a little eye mask before I get into more skincare because I'm a little bit tired. Oh no, here's the baby talk again. Sorry, it's pretty embarrassing. We created this silly, silly language, which is we became babies and it's, it's really just silly and embarrassing. And sometimes we also disgust ourselves because we would say a sentence and it wouldn't make any sense because it's just baby talk. I like to take a piece of ice and just actually go over the eye mask and it feels so good. Ooh, it also really wakes me up in the morning. You know, like cold in general helps with your skin to like tighten your skin and everything. Alrighty. Oh, it's really cold. <laughs> Take it off. And I like to massage it in a little more under my eye, but oh, that mask is good. And my fingies are really cold right now, so it feels great. All right. Next step, there we go. I'll just put it over my skin. Since I've been home and I haven't really worked, I don't wear makeup every day and my skin is actually so much better. Cause while I work, you know, they could change my makeup eight to nine times a day, <laughs> even more. And it really, it's very heavy on my skin. But yeah, now that I haven't been wearing any makeup, it's, uh, as you can see, it's, it's just so much, better. Because of that, my skincare would really just like shorter. The magic box is the next one. Whee! And you got this little spoony. Spoon. God damn it. I'm gonna take a little scoop out. Put it here. For now. And this is my moisturizer. Put it all around. Since I'm gonna do a little makeup today, I'm gonna to use my favorite little oil. And this one, I just like to tap it onto the skin instead of, you know, rubbing it in. All right, my skin is prepped. Just got it out, 
but I happen to a bun because it's harder. It's hard to do makeup when my hair is in my face. Still losing this part so it doesn't get flat. I'm gonna start doing my makeup. First step is my foundation. I haven't been on the sun this year really. So I'm very pale right now, so I like to mix this with a lighter color. I have this little sponge, which I already um, like wet a little bit. I'll mix it together. I'll just step it onto my skin. I like to put it on my ear. It's my ear time to get red every now and then, especially when I'm angry. And then I like to apply it to the hairline. Dylan thinks that I have the widest scalp, that I look like an egg. I don't agree with it, but also he shouldn't be staring at my scalp. It's just weird. All right, it's the base. The next step is uh, a little concealer. This is my favorite one. So I also like to put a little around my lip because my skin is a little dark around my lips. There. You know, since I started modeling at such a young age, I kind of experimented with all the crazy makeups when I was 15 and 16, but only at home. So I didn't really wear makeup to school. I wasn't allowed to. My parents didn't like me to do that. But me and my cousin would always like steal my mom's makeup and do her eyes and like put on strong lipsticks. But now um, I'm the opposite. I like to do just natural makeup. For the foundation, I don't mind using a sponge or the brush, but I feel like for a concealer, because you really want to want it to blend in, it's, it's nicer with the skin and it gives a natural look to it. All right. I'll put the leftovers on, the, on my eye. There. So now I'm going to do my eyes. All right. It has all the colors that I'm going to use today. I am going to use this color. And you see how it's angled? I'll just place it to the edge of my eye. And then in the same direction, just pull it down. And it shapes that little, gives that little like winged shape to it. Or maybe I'm just imagining it, but I do believe that it looks like a wig. With this color, I like to like kind of draw the shape and then shade it in inwards, but not like it's actually getting lighter towards the inner corners. I like to use a uh, Q-tip to just like fix the shape a little bit if it's needed. I like to take this flat brush, use the darker one, and put it to close to the eye lash. And maybe blend it upwards a little. This little touch usually just makes my eyelashes look darker and more, and like thicker, and it makes my eyes bigger. Fill it upwards a little. I'm just gonna use the same brush as I used in the in the first step. I'm just gonna clean this here on my little paw. I'm gonna use this light one. I was blowing a little bit right here. Putting lighter in the inner corners opens up your eyes a little. And then back to this one, just very lightly. And then add a little more to like connect the two colors. All right, so, and now back to this little guy, using this color again. This one also opens up your eyes. See like this eye looks so much bigger. You see? Also, you just follow down the line of this 
right here. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes. I like to get into the roots and then come upwards and outwards. So you kind of end at the tip of like the end of the lashes. And then I have two favorite mascaras. One is the Eye to Kill and the other one is Black Ecstasy. I don't open my eye, uh, my mouth when I do my lashes, but I do just like blink on the mascara instead of like doing that. When I do car red carpets, I prefer to put on like individual lashes, but only to the sides so it gives a little like a butterfly style look. I wish I knew how to do them because they really change the look, but for now this will do. So since on the bottom lashes I don't have a lot of uh, makeup, I'll use the other one, the other mascara, the Ice Decal. And usually when I go red carpets I don't like to put mascara on the bottom lashes because, because of my eye shape. I tend to like wear it down. And I only put the mascara where I put the eyeshadow. All right, now I'm gonna do a little contour. I like to like shake my face like I'm giving a kiss and then it shows more my cheekbone. And I put it following the line towards my lip. Little under here and then a little up here. Yeah, that's not very pretty, but it's not about being pretty now. It's about being pretty at the end. And then even for this, I use my fingers so I can blend it in nicely. I just lately got into a liquid contours. Before I would always just use the powder. Using uh, water contour is just, uh, it looks so much more natural. I think I put a little too much, but that's okay. When I feel like I did a little too much, I just take up the, the sponge that I use for the foundation. I'll just go over it a little. I'm gonna use a little powder over it, just to paint a little bit. I like to mix the two of them and I'm going to draw like a number three. This is what I learned. These are the spots where you want to put the contour. You just draw a number three on your face. Okay, what's the next? Uh, highlight. This is the highlighter. It's also liquid and I also used before powder, but now I prefer this one. I don't like to put a lot here. I like to keep my makeup more matte than dewy. So I don't really use brow pencils because I'm pretty lucky with my eyebrows. I never pluck them. This is just how they look. I like to just brush them out, up and out. Of course, when I do red carpet, I do use a little eye pencil but I feel like I don't really need it right now. Next up is I'm gonna put in a little lip bow and then use a pencil for my lip. The right side of my lip is more like round than the other side. Like this one is pretty straight and then this one is rounder. So I like to actually round out the straighter one and then that gives me a fuller lip. I go to the bottom. My lip is actually bigger than you would think when it's like without lipstick because the outline of my lip is very, it's a very light color, very skin color, so you can't really see it. But now you're gonna see it with the lip liner. So then now that the liner is done, I fill it in a little. Use my lip, my fingers. The leftover from the lipstick, I like to put it on my cheeks. 
to make me look a little more fresh. I mean, obviously, if it's a dark purple lipstick and I don't do it, but with this look, you can do it. We got two more stuff. One is to get the highlighter back and take it with my little finger. Just put it right here. So now that that's done, I'm gonna use this powder to like set it. It is matte, but it has a little like shimmer in it, so it makes it looks very natural. Let me just do a little more of the liner. All right, my face is done. Now it's time for the hair. Well, it kind of dried nicely. I think I should brush it, but I don't know. So you can see I got all these little waves here. I'm just gonna brush it with my fan. Let me put on a different shirt. I'll be back. Well, as a last touch, I'm gonna use this texturing sea salt spray on my hair. Ta-da, I'm done. I hope you liked this look. I hope I was able to teach you something new. Thank you for watching.